Yo, what is going on, and welcome back to, uh, I guess, a now yearly series that I do. Um, we got Madden predicts the NFL playoffs, um, and it's not going to be accurate. I mean, they're probably just going to have the Cowboys go all the way, as they usually do in Madden. So, as you can tell, not realistic by any means, um, but... Yeah, uh, let's just show them, show you the bracket. This is gonna be crazy in real life. Let's see how that pans out in Madden. But first, let's go into the Philadelphia Eagles versus Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And here we are in Raymond James Stadium. Somehow the Buccaneers got a playoff spot, um, and they will be facing the defending NFC champions, the Philadelphia Eagles and Jalen Hurts. Let's see. What's, what's, what's gonna happen, I guess? What, what the Eagles, what the Buccaneers got? And the Buccaneers start out with the ball, and they don't get it, and everyone's switching, and then the Eagles get a field goal, and now they get a touchdown, um, just at halftime, and nothing is happening, I guess, and then the Eagles get another field goal. Pure domination on the Eagles' defensive side, as they are blowing out the Buccaneers. Buccaneers don't have a chance, and yeah, garbage time touchdown. And that Philadelphia Eagles have really just destroyed the Buccaneers by defense the entire time. And yeah, tie bowls, you can't be too upset. That's what everyone expected. So yeah, Eagles proving the haters wrong and getting it all together. And moving on to the divisional as they beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But next up, we got the other side of the bracket, the four and the five going at it here. We got the Houston Texans hosting a playoff game. We got Joe Flacco in the house and Jerome Ford. Yeah, this Brown season has gone kind of insane, but it's worked out for them. And CJ Stroud, young surprise and is kind of insane. So it's going to be a great game in real life and hopefully in Madden as well as the Cleveland Browns are taking on the Houston Texans. And Texans start out with the ball, and they get a touchdown to start out. And their defense is doing really well against the Browns. Holy crap, 14-0. 21-0. Oh, my God. 28. It's a blowout at halftime. And the Browns can't get anything working on offense. And it's just a complete beatdown. Playoff Joe as, cannot do anything until the very end. 49-7 to is your final in Houston. And D'Amico Ryans. Okay, my guy. What? Not expecting that kind of a game, but wow, that was impressive by CJ and D'Amico as they just rocked Joseph. I mean, wow. But now, back in the NFC, we got the Detroit Lions playing host to Matthew Stafford. If you told someone this 10 years ago, they would look at you like you have three heads. I mean... Wow, this is going to be kind of insane, and uh, yeah, it's going to be a great game. I mean, I'm not expecting too much after the blowout that just happened, so let's see what Dan Campbell and Sean McVay got in them. And the Lions start with the ball, and they don't do anything, but the Rams, however, score a touchdown 7-0, to and Lions can the answer they can with a field goal, and they take the lead 10-7. to Looking very competitive so far. Lions winning a lot on defense. Let's see if it plays out. Nope, 14 to 10 into the fourth quarter. Oh my god, 70. Oh, ah! And look what we have here. The Rams with the lead, but the Lions in prime striking position to take it back. Let's see what Jared Goff, the former Ram, has in him. Throws it. Easy slant to... Who is that? I can't really see. Oh, Sam Laporta. He's not going to play this game, so... <laughs> I guess the Lions are just giving him that Aaron Rodgers stuff. Clock is rolling. Rams do have all timeouts, and they are primed for, like, any Cooper Cup or Pukaniku a long pass. Jared Goff, not much pressure, and it's almost a touchdown. Amon Ross St. Brown gets knocked around like a pinball up to the four. Lions are moving. Uh, I guess it's the clock stopped somehow. I guess that's probably just Madden being dumb, but Jared Goff under pressure by Aaron Donald, and he gets almost sacked. Oh, that wasn't Aaron Donald. I actually don't know, but it probably was. Yeah, third and goal. You got Jared Goff, huge play here. You already know Dan Campbell will go for it on fourth down if he has to. Jared Goff, touchdown anyway, doesn't matter. And who is that? That is who Brock Wright, maybe? I don't know who that is. But he just scored the potential game-winning, but for now, go-ahead touchdown for the Detroit Lions in the huge wild card game. It is Brock Wright, I knew it. Oh my god. Beautiful, beautiful touchdown. Let's see what the Rams have in them. Cooper Cup has gone off. 10 receptions, 136 yards, and two touchdowns. See if he can get another touchdown here. He has gotten the majority of the Rams' touchdowns. 40 seconds, Matthew Stafford, to make something happen. 
Not much pressure and check down to Cooper Cup. They do have all timeouts, so it doesn't matter. First down. Rams now moving along. 30-yard line, Matthew Stafford. All they need is a field goal in real reality. But A. Hutchinson chasing him down, and he gets him a sack, and the Rams have to take a timeout. And that is a huge play for the Lions. Could end up being the game-winning one as this bad Rams off of offensive line cannot do well against Aiden Hutchinson. And it's just a check down. They have to use their final timeout. Let's see. Huge play for both of them. Odds not exactly in the Rams' favor, but you never know. It is playoff football. Anything could happen. Matthew Stafford throws it deep, and it is... Oh, he had him! That would have been the game winner, but he just underthrew him. And, of course, Madden has to be dumb, but yeah... Lions are moving on to the divisional round. But after that heartbreaker for the the Rams, we're moving over to KC for what in reality is going to be one of the coldest games in NFL history. But in Madden, it doesn't have the capability of doing that. So we just got the Miami Dolphins versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Oh my God, this is about a crazy game. Tua. Uh, his first, his actually, it, I just realized it is his first playoff game this last year he got hurt. Um, but yeah, Patrick Mahomes, let's see if, <laughs> what he can do this year as Chiefs have not been looking their dominant selves as, as per late. And then Chiefs start out with the ball and they, of course, <laughs> capitalize on it. 7-7 seven, seven now into the second and close game, 14 to now 7. See what the Dolphins can get and they do tie it back up. Oh my god. Dolphins get the lead, 21-17-20, oh my god. And look at what we have here, we have another classic in KC, as oh my god, Dolphins are driving one point down, handed off to Raheem Mostert, who I don't think is actually playing in this game, and he nearly gets the edge, but unfortunately for the Dolphins, go out of bounds. Now at the 10, it is a second and one for Tua, and under center, gives a play call to Tyreek as... <laughs> as it makes sense, and he doesn't go there, but it's almost picked off! That was almost the Dolphins' season, but thankfully for the Dolphins, Croft was able to knock it away. Third and one, it doesn't really matter, because, I mean, you know, <laughs> it, it it doesn't really matter if they get this or not, because, yeah, I mean, they get it anyway, so Devon A. Chain, first and goal for the Dolphins, clock is running, but Casey does have all their timeouts. Now Tua, first and goal at the eight. Uh, going audibles with Jalen Waddle and pump fakes and under pressure goes and it's a Cedric Wilson now at the four there <laughs> they don't have any wide receivers all tight ends and linemen hands it off up the middle and Raheem Mostert gets the touchdown and the Dolphins take the lead oh my god is it gonna happen again or are the Chiefs gonna pull it out again I mean man I guess the Dolphins have to go for it as well don't they and of course they have to we got Tua uh, from the two for the two-point conversion. A lot of twos right there. Let's see if they get it. Hand off to Raheem Mostert, and he gets past Chris Jones. No, he doesn't. What is that? Oh, wait, what? How did... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's analyze this real quick. What the heck just happened? Okay, so Tua gets a snap. He hands it off to Raheem. Chris Jones is right there. Number 68. How do you not block this guy? He's right in your face. We just let him... Oh, I guess he kind of pushed you out of the way, but yeah. Um, <laughs> Jesus. Cotton Senior, you got rocked. Yeah, but now Raheem Mostert, he knows what he got. He got the right animation. Runs past Chris Jones. And then Nick Bolton, that's how I thought it was. Also, this offensive line was just in the way and not doing anything. Throws him in the air, tackles him. And, oh, they just got unlucky as he landed on Chris Jones, with him, which gave him a little bit of extra stuff to be able to get in there. And unlucky for the Chiefs. As I mean, they tackled him before Chris Jones got in the backfield. But unlucky with the animation, and the Chiefs got to pull together a drive. But, I mean, Patrick Mahomes, anything's possible. As he drops back in the pocket, no pressure, goes up, and he scrambles wide open. What are the Dolphins doing? And he slides up to the 44, and they're going to have to keep going. And Patrick Mahomes keeps it moving. And letting the clock run, I guess. I don't... What, j okay, there he goes. No pressure so far, and throws it. Check down to Travis, and probably got to take a timeout if I'm being honest. And they do. And Patrick Mahomes now second and two, 46 seconds left, one timeout. I mean, already, <laughs> already in Dolphins territory. Let's say what he got, and he does. It's a check down. You got to get more out of bound, out of bounds. And are they going to do it? They are hurrying up. 30 seconds left. Patrick Mahomes, and he takes the snap. 
no pressure pumps and he almost gets sacked and it's incomplete probably best case scenario for them as he was going to ch uh, check it down but thankfully for the Chiefs he didn't do that as now second and ten Patrick Mahomes takes the snap and throws it quickly and it's caught and it's broken up oh my god that was a huge play for the Dolphins 22 seconds left Chiefs got to keep on keeping on 43 yard line see what they got in them Patrick Mahomes takes the snap down seven and throws it out and it's incomplete again fourth and ten this is what this is comes down to it Patrick Mahomes continuing to make mistakes not all of them his fault of course but yeah they got a timeout so they can go deep and get it down inbounds but let's see what they got drawn up Isaiah Pacheco in the backfield and he's under pressure Patrick Mahomes incredible throw and it's knocked away and oh my god number 21 just won the game for the dolphins that was incredible as patrick Mahomes, he had him that was a beautiful throw under pressure but number 12 i can't remember who that is maybe like kohu or something but oh my god the miami dolphins coming to kc don't know if it's an upset this year but in the seating it's called an upset so yeah miami moving on to the divisional round crazy ending mike mcdaniel pretty happy about that one as wow andy reed not too happy but oh my god that was insane but next up for the final nfc playoff game um we got the green bay packers trying to upset the dallas cowboys and honestly anything is possible but in madden it's just gonna be the cowboys most likely but yeah, this could be interesting in real life. Um, not as interesting here, I would assume. We had Jordan Love on a hot streak. I don't know, man. Let's see if that carries over into Madden. It, it won't, but <laughs> let's see if it does, okay? And the Packers get the ball first, and they drive down. Don't get anything, however. Cowboys get the touchdown and another touchdown. But the Packers get a field goal. Uh, Cowboys answer with the field goal themselves and another touchdown. And Madden is just being Madden now. So, yeah, unfortunate. But, yeah, don't get the most realistic game. But, hey, yeah, Cowboys, I guess, moving on. But, you know what? I'm not, yeah. <laughs> it's Madden, okay. And for the final wildcard matchup, we got Bills Mafia hosting the, uh, the Pitts, Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah, it's unfortunate that the Steelers somehow made it this way. But Mac Tomlin just is a magician and can make the impossible happen um unfortunate that the jaguars had to lose god damn it jaguars you are you you let the steelers into the playoffs like god the steelers should not be allowed anywhere near the playoffs just like the buccaneers um but yeah buccaneers actually you know it makes sense because it's division leader but unfortunately the steelers had to god damn make it fucking jaguars come on bro yeah we got the bills hosting so please bills win please and bill starting out and never mind i guess it's just defensive game as any pittsburgh steelers boring ass game ever is but bills get their stuff together and yeah 21 to 3 this is why did we let this sorry ass team into the playoffs bro like thank you bills for getting business done but Jeez. Okay. Well, yeah. Bills won. Not a surprise. Thank you, Sean. Thank you. That was, that was very nice. Thank you. Bye bye, Mike. But yeah, that was the uh, Madden's um, wild card predictions. Um, unfortunately, I can't move on to the divisional round because Madden is just the best game ever. I love this game so much. I was planning on going all the way to the Super Bowl, but Jesus fucking Christ. Um, I might get one like get one of those in like a short video you know in a youtube short so subscribe and look out for that if you want to see the full length of all this it's going to be a different bracket because you know i have to restart it and all that but uh yeah that was madden's wildcard predictions and you know what i can advance or i can advance i just can't switch to team so i can watch it so let's see what ends up happening in the super bowl uh <laughs> let's just let's just simulate here um and honestly interesting i could see all of it happening uh, some of it i hope not but yeah see what i'm saying the Cowboys made it to the Super Bowl, so, yeah, unfortunate, but Eagles did beat the Niners, Ravens beat the Dolphins, Jesus Christ, 42-7, to Ravens beat the Bills, and somehow, I don't, I don't know what universe that this would happen, but the Cowboys made it to the championship game and won against the Eagles, so, yeah, I got Ravens, Cowboys, Super Bowl, and, yeah, yeah, let's just figure out who wins, 
And, uh, yeah, 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 Jesus Christ, Madden, I hate you so much. Um, but, uh, the Super Bowl champion is the, uh, yeah, okay, well, yeah, terrible way to end it, but let's uh, just end it there. See you next time, whenever you want to see me again, see ya.